Hi. So it says you. <clears throat> it's, yes, hi, okay. Dev vlog number two. Um, today I didn't have as much time to work on things because um, I was moving house. Uh, well, technically I'd already moved house, but my stuff hadn't moved. So I was just living in an empty room like a psychopath with neatly organized piles of stuff on the floor. Um, but now I have a desk, I have my computer here and things, and that was probably loud and noisy. Um, I mean, it does look a little bit still like the nest of a psychopath. But anyway, this is meant to be a video log about the thing I'm making for the Alt Control Game Jam, and so that's what I will do. And that camera's gonna fall... no. So, today, uh, I'm gonna be quick about this because I'm kinda knackered. Um, uh, um, my knowledge of Unity and coding and everything hasn't amazingly um, shot up overnight, but I have achieved a few things um, with help. Um, thank you to uh, uh, there's a couple of people I don't have your names in front of me, but when I put the video up and I asked on Twitter, there's a few people that suggested things to me, um, uh, but both of which I looked at and both of which um, helped. And, and one of the things about uh, frequency and pitch, I'm going to maybe try and implement later in the week, but I'm going to concentrate first on just getting anything that works roughly to concept. Um, so my, my, my good friend Bill helped me with the uh, t taking separate inputs for um, the uh, f for the speed of the horses. Sorry, I'm not very verbose this evening. Um, for the speed of the horses, he helped me with the code, um, and I will stick a clip of what that has done in here. Yeah. Yes. Yes. What about you? Yes, yes, yes. So, right, what's happening here is I have uh, three microphones now uh, going into the computer, into three separate audio devices in Windows. Um, and the two fellas that went off the screen are two Zoom recorders, uh, one of which I'm recording through now, which is why um, it was a bit faster than this, which is just a cheap lav mic that I've got plugged into my microphone socket. Um, and e even with this basic way of getting the audio in, this is the hurdle I needed to get over. This is what I was uh, talking about in the second half of my video. Uh, and yes, Bill helped me a lot. Uh, he took the code away and uh, went through it with me. And I, full disclosure, don't understand. Uh, I've tried to go through the code myself and I'm still too dumb. But by the end of the week, I plan to understand-ish why this works. But yes, game mechanic, in, good, yes. Mm -hmm. Again, thank you, Bill, thank you very much. Uh, you actually have real things to do with your time. <laughs> so, thank you very much. Um, so yes, that, as far as I'm concerned, that is enough of a victory for now. Um, I could get much more complex about it. I know from doing bits of research that there are ways that you can take, say, the separate inputs from an external sound card, like, um, Focus right. What are the what are the new ones called? Not, not Sapphire. That's what I used to have. The Scarlet interface or M Audio, whatever. There are ways you can um, get that data into Unity, um, and it might even be simple. But I, I even simple code, I look at like a dog that's being showed how to dance. I just don't get it. It's just too much at this stage. Um, so that's with that uh, help that Bill has given me. I now have an input that I can use to change the speed of the horses. Um, and that was the only game change, that was the only breaker for me. If I couldn't get that, I was going to have to change ideas. I'm not changing ideas, I'm going to make this horse game. And it's going to look so much nicer, because as I mentioned, my girlfriend, uh, uh, Jessie, has drawn, or was, uh, I had drawn, was going to draw, whatever, she has drawn me a sprite sheet with horses in three different animation states, um, background things, uh, and, and I, 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 I really like it. Um, I'm of the personal opinion that it takes an artist to draw kind of stick figures and still make them seem full of life and cool. But anyway, see what you think. They are here. This is the kind of test thing I did with the sprites that Jessie drew for me. Um, she drew a sprite sheet with three animation states for the horse guys. There's a fourth for a jump if I decide to put jumps in, but I'll cross that when I get to it. And um, I, yeah, and I had the horses and the camera scrolling along. And this was a sort of concept idea I had for when the horses uh, reach the, uh, when the horse, yeah, this is the concept I had for when the horses reach a certain point, the, or the, the leading horse, the camera will follow them. Um, I kind of realise now, that I, obviously that's crap, but I, I kind of realise now that um, 
that's not quite how I need to do it, but they all are tagged, or layered, sorry, they all have layers, horses have layers, background have layers, so maybe I'll, something to do with when one horse gets over near this side of the screen, it can't go off, um, uh, but the back horses can, because if you're losing, you deserve to go off the screen, <laughs> or something, I don't know, but that's, yes, uh, where I am so far, um, but yeah, these are, all, all of these fences were hand-drawn as well, and there's other things as well that I just haven't put in yet. There's some grass and some clouds, but I'll put those in as the week goes on. So now I just need to build uh, a 2D scrolling kind of racing game. Uh, everything else is sort of in place, I think. Yeah. So, between those two things, I'm hoping you get an idea of what it is going to be like now. Um, I, I, there are so many things that are still like way beyond me, but I feel like just with the little, um, I, you know, I'm going to spend the rest of this evening, for example, looking through various different tutorials into making um, 2D side-scrolling games, um, not necessarily racing games, but I'm sure most of the logic will be very, very similar, and most of the ways. Um, the thing I'm struggling most with now is the thing that uh, I put touched on in that video is that I don't know quite what to do with the camera. Because I feel like if the horse is just very slowly moved from one end of the screen to the other, um, and you know, uh, I, I timed it so roughly so that by the time the horse has got over to the other end of the track, the, the race would finish no matter how loud someone shouted, I don't know. Um, I still feel like that would feel like incredibly slow process for the people playing the game. Um, but maybe that's all I can do at this stage, maybe. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to leave this here tonight because I don't really have anything more to say about it. I, I, I'd love to do a vlog about coding, but I, I, like, I, I might... It's going to get boring if I keep saying I don't know how to code, so I'll not. Okay, there may have been a very big jump cut in there because I started rambling again about my lack of knowledge in coding and that's not um, what you need to hear. Basically, the game will work now to an extent. I still have a lot to learn, but I feel like at the end of this week, unless I'm missing something massive that normal people who make games know about with Unity, I still think I'll be able to turn in a functional, working, sound-driven game by the end of this week. I hope. Um, Thank you to the people who have already reached out to try and help me with code so far. I may badger you on Twitter um, with requests to look at horrible code in Pastebin. Please don't hate me. Just say no if you don't want me to do that. Um, so I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go away now. I'm going to sign up for the night. Where's my, okay. I promise I really am a musician.